Hi guys, so one of my most requested videos has to do with line art. Uh, I don't really know why you're asking about line art because I'm not the best at line art myself, but I guess I'll tell you whatever I know and hopefully it helps a couple of people. So the first thing with line art has to do with brushes. I tend to use the default brush on Fire Alpaca. It's nothing special. But you should definitely get into practicing or experimenting with new line art brushes or just new brushes in general. Another brush I like to use is the pencil brush, which should be installed already, which is way, um, you can see softer, I guess, kind of transparent. So you might want to go over it unless you like it like that. It's totally fine. The brush that you use for your line art can add like a lot to your picture, believe it or not. Let me see what I have. That's for something else. Like for this one, for the next two pictures I'm going to show you, I use the marker tool, which I'm not sure if that's a default or not. Hopefully it is because it happens to be one of my most favorite brushes. It's kind of um, rough, I guess. Like if I was to draw over him, you can see it's kind of like, yeah. And there's like some spots in there that are not colored in, but I really like, <laughs> it looked like he had a gash on his face. I really like how it turned out. It's very, this one is kind of messy, so I don't know if this is the right example like the next example I use the same exact brush the marker tool and there that's how it looks when it's a little thicker but it adds a lot of personality to your picture compared to like the default brush so you should really experiment with the brush types so the most common question about line art at least given to me is how to make it really smooth so in my brushes video I talked about the correction settings you should probably go watch that video to learn more about brushes and how to make them work better but the correction setting should be up here somewhere. For me, it's under this tab right here. See it? Okay, it disappears sometimes, but it's right here, the correction. The numbers 0 through 19 pop up, and depending on the number, your line art will become more smooth. So like for 19, or you know what? I'm going to show you 20 first. I mean, I'm going to show you 1 first. So let me go to... Excuse me, please. Okay, so I'm going to go to 0. That's what I meant. I didn't mean 1. And if you see right here... Actually, that didn't turn out so bad, but it's not the best. It's kind of wonky and it's very hard to get it to be smooth. But if you used, can you please, can you? Okay, very, oh my God. If you use, um, if you use the setting 19, it should turn out more smooth. But um, since I'm recording my screen, my, I don't know, my pen doesn't work as well, which is why I don't do line art in speed paints, but even though it's not as smooth as it usually is, you can see right here, you can compare to this. Well, you can compare right here to my usual line art. Yeah, right here and that. There's obviously a big difference, so you should play around with the correction setting. I usually have it to 16, I'm not sure why, I just got used to it. But yeah, play around with these. The higher numbers are probably going to come out way more smooth. And yeah, another way to make your line art really smooth happens to be the way you draw your brush strokes. So when you're drawing on paper, you tend to draw a bit slow because you have more control over your pencil or whatever. But for digital art, it's not the same. Let's say I was going to draw this in the way that I would draw on paper. I would draw kind of slow like this probably. I can't really remember, but when I draw really slow on tablet or digital art, whatever, it doesn't turn out very good. Actually, it looks pretty fine here, but it's definitely not the same. For digital art, you have to do really quick brush strokes. I'm going to put that there just so, okay. So for digital art, you would do like this, like, like that, you know, like, boop. Right now, it doesn't look very smooth because I'm recording, but... If I wasn't recording, it would look really smooth. See, like right here, this is what it looks like when I'm not recording. See how nice and smooth everything is? That's because it's fast brush strokes. I will say, you're not going to get the brush stroke that you want right away. So, see that didn't turn out. I didn't like how that looks. So what you would have to do is to keep the undo shortcut in hand. So my two fingers, my index finger my middle finger on my left hand are resting on the command key and the Z key which is um, how to undo on a Mac computer let me see up here there's the undo tab or not the undo tab it's an edit tab 
and there's an undo option and it tells you right here the shortcut so just keep that in hand and you're gonna have to press undo like a hundred times but that's just how art is okay let's talk about something else let's talk about line weight so line weight is pretty much like pen pressure I guess it's when certain areas of your line art is thicker than others and it usually depends on what you're drawing so for finer details you should probably use a thinner line art I don't really have an example here maybe I do somewhere else but maybe not so whatever um, oh here I have some right here like this very thin you can hardly see it but it's for much finer details compared to the outside which is very thick especially yeah the border I guess super thick because it created like kind of like a cartoony look that I really like so yeah pay attention to line art like the pressure and the weight that you put it can add a lot to your pictures again if your line art is just one size throughout the whole thing it can turn out to look really boring or it can look good I think it depends on what you're kind of aiming for for the weight of your line art you can check your brush settings so if you double click on that there should be size by pressure which is the harder you press onto your tablet the thicker the line art will be and then the lighter you press the thinner it will be so I'm pressing very lightly and then I'm pressing hard and then light again hard light there you go it should work like that if it's not working like that and it's checked on your brush settings you should check your tablet settings maybe there's something wrong with it or maybe you didn't install it right you can also use the eraser tool for line weight so I do this a lot when I'm drawing like a mouth so if I'm gonna draw a mouth like this or maybe I should put less pressure let me see okay pretend that's a good mouth <laughs> you can go with the eraser tool and kind of just like slowly there you go it's looking a bit jagged but it should turn out smooth when you do it so there you go see how I'm kind of just like narrowing the line art down I just realized that I spelled tumblr wrong and you guys didn't even say anything you guys just let me go on and continue my life with this typo right in your face there we go all right the last thing to talk about with line art has to do with the color so most artists will tell you not to use the color black for line art because it doesn't look good or it's too strong of a color I tend not to use black because I feel like it can get kind of boring I think black will look good depending on what kind of picture it is you know some pictures will look really good with black other pictures maybe not I tend to use dark colors of like um let me see like here probably can't really tell because it's pretty dark but I like to use like a dark blue so that's a lot of the line art right there but I use a lot of colors for other things so like I use this color right there for like the eyes or whatever the eyelashes are a little darker so you should really get into coloring your line art because it really does add a lot you don't have to go as extreme as this I I don't know I don't know why I do this it's just something I got used to and I like I really really like color so I tend to use very bright colors for most things but here is not as bright as the last one and this one I use a brown like a reddish brown so that's the color of the line art I use for the outside and for like the skin colors I use a mixture of like a very bright red and then like this not so bright red but how do you color line art right so I said this in my layer uh, video you guys should really watch my previous videos before watching my new videos because a lot of these things are repeats but in my layer video I talked about protecting alpha and clipping so if you want to color your line art I recommend you use clipping so to do that above your line art make a new layer completely new and before you do anything you press the clipping button up here which means that whatever you draw on this layer is only gonna show up on the layer under it I guess so to show you I'm gonna do one big stroke up here and there you go see it only shows up on whatever is under it which is the line art so that's pretty much the best way to color line art okay there we go that's all I had for this video about line art Hopefully it helped a little bit. Thank you so much for requesting it. It really means a lot when people request videos because it means that you're interested and it means I can be helpful 
hopefully, <laughs> who knows if this even helped anyone. Um, I hope it did though. I hope you learned like one thing at least. If you have any more requests, just let me know and I'll try to do that. Thank you so much for watching and like this video if it helped or if you're gonna use it, whatever, whatever. I make these videos every Tuesday. It's called Tutorial Tuesday and I'm gonna do lots of videos usually about art. If I do anything other than art, that's gonna be pretty rare because that's all I know how to do. So you should subscribe because I have a schedule and you know, you can be notified when I post something new. All right, thank you so much for watching and um, I already said that, bye.